So we're back up to the start for race two. This is heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup. We have St. Edward's School on the Berkshire Station and the King's College School Wimbledon on the Buckinghamshire Station. Both crews raced yesterday. Obviously, once again, looking at times of each other, they were trying to work out. They obviously would have competed on the domestic Canada before Henley. Yeah, but the national, but um, St. Edward's here didn't race at national schools in the eight. So I'm not sure these two crews have raced each other in major competitions yet. Um, they were racing in smaller crews and put this together since Henley, since national schools. There's a good mix in the St. Edward's boat of J16, J18. So, you know, that kind of that development phase that they're going through, they're trying to rebuild their program. Yeah, and I think that's what they did. They let the, the young kids race in their age category at national schools to get something positive out of it. And now it's great to come and get some experience here to use it for the next couple of years. And they moved out to half a length block quickly there, just off the blocks, looks really nice and loose. That's a great start there from Seth Edwards. Out the blocks into a lead. And we've just got up to Foley and they've just increased their lead as they come towards or go past Foley there. Yeah, they've done a great job there, haven't they? Just using their rhythm to row steadily away. It looked like um, Kings didn't really get into rhythm off the start, a little bit rushed maybe. and then a bit frantic. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And um, I mean, looking at the times yesterday, there was 10 seconds difference. And well, the, the race today shows the same sort of distance, really. Um, and also, father-son combination here, Johnny Singfield coaching the crew with his son Barnaby in the St. Edward's School in the seven seat. That must be, yeah, I, I, as a young athlete, I was coached by my dad, and that, that kind of relationship is really special. And the older I get now, I think about it, how lucky I was to have that bond or experience that not everybody gets to have. No, that's great, isn't it? Usually people say you shouldn't really coach your kids. Yeah. My kids, row, I don't try not to coach them, but it's good that it, it, when people have a good relationship, I think it's a really powerful thing, isn't it? And yeah, and St. Edward's here really quite a not new crew, really doing a good job with this and getting, it looks like they're going to be racing tomorrow. Yeah, and you know, the new director of Brian came in, uh, Adam Moffitt has been working with Johnny on this and you know, obviously their plans for the school program to progress and build. Um, it's a great way for them to kind of kick off, you know, having a great race yesterday and then kind of backing up today with another good performance. And also there's under 16 year old boys having never raced here now we'll have had three races at Henley before they come back next year and also the winter's training is going to be better for the experience and I think you think about how many times you actually get to race at Henley you know it's quite limited really it's once a year you know depending when you start your event how many yeah. have entered yeah and there's people who race here many years and never win a single race so to win three in your first race first year is pretty special and that's a good habit to get into yeah So we'll clear water as they enter the regatta enclosure there. St. Edward's School of a King's School, King's College School, Wimbledon. Yeah, they've done a very professional job, these young, inexperienced guys. The pressure doesn't seem to have got to them at all. They just executed their plan. And yeah, the boat's moving very nicely. Yeah, you can hear the cheering from the bank. And that's like I love about them, how close you know, the spectators are to the rowing. And, you know, you can't not hear them because they're screaming at you. The yeah, yeah, exactly. And when you come down Stewart, especially when it's busy, the noise is unbelievable. And you can see go Teddy's. For those of you who don't know, Teddy's is what the fans call St. Edward's School. professional job of this race. It's nice to get a nice long rest now. They've raced first thing this morning. They've got all day to kind of you know, recover, wind down and prepare for tomorrow. But what's unique about Henley is they won't find out what time they're racing until the end of today. So it's a great win there as St. Edward's School crossed the line over King's School Wimbledon. King's College School Wimbledon in the heat of the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup.